Welcome back to Kansan to Kansan. Kansans in rural communities have gone unheard for far too long. That's why one of my first priorities when I took office was establishing the Office of Rural Prosperity, an initiative focused on giving rural Kansans a voice in Topeka. I asked Lieutenant Governor Lynn Rogers to spearhead this work to ensure rural communities had a seat at the table. That means tackling issues that are the most pressing, like childcare, broadband, housing, preserving Main Street businesses, and providing the economic opportunities that will keep our children in Kansas. Last summer, Lieutenant Governor Rogers went on the road for a listening tour where he connected with hundreds of Kansans. The conversations guided the blueprint for the Office of Rural Prosperity. What we learned on the road built the policies and programs we plan to implement to foster prosperity in rural Kansas. Lieutenant Governor Rogers has joined me on this special edition of Kansan to Kansan, as today we are announcing our plans for the 2020 tour. This year will look a little bit different. The risks of COVID-19 are too high to replicate last year's tour, but there is still work to do, and we want to be well positioned to grow our rural communities when we can move beyond the virus. With that, I'll hand it over to Lieutenant Governor Rogers to talk about the next step our administration is taking to improve the lives of rural Kansans. Thank you, Governor Kelly, for leading in making rural Kansas a priority. This year for our Office of Rural Prosperity Tour, we will be building off what we learned last summer and reporting back to Kansans our areas of focus and projects targeted in rural areas. We will hold virtual meetings across the state that are open to the public and anyone and everyone is invited to participate. We will highlight the Office of Rural Prosperity's priority areas of early education and child care, housing, community development, broadband and infrastructure, and of course, the impacts of COVID-19. State agency leaders and other stakeholders will join me and my team during these meetings to talk about policies and the implementation or plans for programs and projects that are targeted to rural areas. We are working together to tear down the silo mentality and create real solutions for our rural neighbors. Except for one statewide meeting, each of the public meetings will be held in the six main regions across Kansas. We are sensitive to the fact that virtual meetings may pose a challenge to some rural residents who do not have accessible and reliable internet connection. As a state, we are working on a comprehensive broadband plan to connect you all soon. But I understand that in the present moment, this means this year's format may restrict participation. I wish this wasn't the case, but your health and safety is our first priority. We hope that offering dial-in options and sharing live recordings will be a solution for some because of our work. It benefits all Kansans, no matter their zip code. Our first meeting is approaching quickly. I hope residents in North Central Kansas will join me on Thursday, August 6th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. To register for this event and find the dates for the other six meetings, please visit orp.ks.gov from your computer or phone and click on the Zoom registration link specific to your region. On the website, you will also find more information about the meeting and services available. I'm looking forward to connecting, this time virtually, with you once again. Together, we are determined to pave the way for a better future for our state, and we know that when rural Kansas succeeds, the state as a whole succeeds. See you next time on Kansan to Kansan.